Look what we got today, homemade tapache. You don't want to miss this video. This stuff is fantastic. La cucaracha, la cucaracha, ya no puede caminar porque no tiene, porque le falta marihuana que fumar. La cucaracha, la cucaracha. And here is the star of today's show. Pineapples. So now, what is tapache? Tapache is a Mexican drink, fermented pineapple that you make and you bottle. It's got about a two to four percent alcohol, but today we're going to show you how to make it and give you a secret. You don't want to miss the end of this video because I can't wait to show you how easy this is. And you talk about a money savings, you can get like one size like this. And it's about $5 in a grocery store, but we're going to make all this for about $4. And then that secret is going to double it. Don't miss the end. And I did this video. If you saw me make pineapple wine, I had mounds of the pineapple skin. Look at all these scraps. I wish there was something I could do with you with all these. And that so many of you written in say, you ain't make tapache. You're gonna love it, and that's what we did. I'm gonna show you how you do it, and you can make a lot of tapache out of the pineapple wineskins. You've seen how much I had right here. All right, let's go over some of the ingredients you're gonna need for this homemade tapache. You're gonna need some light brown sugar, some cinnamon sticks, some pineapples, and a couple other optional ingredients we'll get into as we go. Now, you're not necessarily gonna need this extra fruit, but I wanna show you some variations of this at the end of this video. Now, when you're making tapache, a lot of people get confused with kombucha, kombucha. And all this is, is this is fermented tea, tapacho is fermented pineapple. So that's what the difference is. I'm gonna show you how to make this in a future video, and it involves something called a SCOBY. Some of the equipment you're going to need, and I got links to a lot of this stuff in the description, you're going to need some bottles to store your tapache. You're going to need a fermenting container like this one. It's just a pickle container. You can get these dirt cheap at like a Walmart or something. And here, you're going to need a funnel to fill your bottles. And also, I like to use cheesecloth to cover it up. And don't be afraid to use these two liter bottles. They work great for storing your tapache too. It's time to prepare our pineapple. Let's just get right into this. And how do you know if your pineapple's ready? When you start to see this yellow color, that's perfect. The riper, the better your tapache is gonna be. Now, we got our fruit pineapple here. The first thing we wanna do is we wanna cut off both ends. You wanna get rid of this top. That's not needed for this. And then, we're gonna chop off the bottom. We don't need that either. Now, from here, we wanna just rub this and make sure we're getting a lot of this debris off. We don't want any animals like bugs or anything or any of this fine stuff. We wanna make sure we're cleaning pesticides, anything that might be on this pineapple we're not aware of. Now, we can cut this. Now, what we wanna do, we wanna cut the skin off. We want to leave about a half inch of pineapple on there like this, and we'll go the whole way around. And this is what we're going to use for our tapache. That's the skin. That's where the yeast is going to be. Perfect. And for this recipe, you only need one pineapple. There we go. That's perfect. Now what we want to do, we're going to save the pineapple. You've seen me make wine on this channel. We're going to save this to make some wine. But I'm trying to get to the core. We want the core, the hard core, to put in this tapache also. Because it's just going to add more pineapple flavor. So there's the core. That's what we're getting to. Oh, almost forgot. We want to just make these a little bit smaller for our container to get in our fermentation bucket. So I'm just going to cut each one of these pieces in half, just like this. And if you see any bad spots like this here, remove them. You don't want that in here. All right, we got everything we need. We're ready to prepare this, which I can't wait, because that pineapple smells so good. So 
what we got, we got what you want to start with is you got to have brown sugar. You want the light brown sugar. This is one cup. If you want less sugar, you can put less in. That's what makes the hobby fun. You get to make it the way you want. Homemade tapache. So I'm going to try and get this in here without losing it. I might have missed a little bit, but that's fine. Now what we want to do, I got one cup of water over here. We want to add that in here at this point because we want to mix this sugar in with a little bit of water. So let's just give that a stir. And all we're trying to do is dissolve it here. This will break up even more as we move along in this process. Ah, oh, there's a piece of pineapple. I want to taste this. Mm. Now we just want to layer our pineapples, but don't forget this. This is the key to authentic tapache. Put a cinnamon stick in. So put all this pineapple in there. It doesn't really matter if it's skin down or skin up. We just want to get it in there. Now, a lot of recipes you will see out there, they say to put in some cloves. I'm not a clove fan, so I'm going to leave these out. But again, Wait till you see what we're going to do at the end of this. We're going to tweak it a little bit. All right, we got our pineapple in. Now all we want to do is fill this up with water. And that's going to get that fermentation process started. I'm just going to add a little bit more. There we go. Isn't it? A, it's a beautiful thing. Fermented pineapple. It's, it's a great recipe. I can't wait for you to try it. Let me know what you think. So there we go. I'm just going to put it up to about there. A little bit of headspace. That's what we want. Now what we want to do, we want, just want to get it just a final little stir. Remember, we got that sugar in the bottom. We're just going to mix that in a little bit, just like this. We want everything incorporated here. We can. The trick here is once you do that, you got to weigh down your pineapple some way. I like these little, these are like little jar lids. So I'll just put these in here and we'll make sure our pineapple is basically just submerged. You know, it doesn't have to be anything fancy like that. So now we're ready to get our cheesecloth in here and let this go. All right, I got my cheesecloth hiss. We're just gonna cover this. If you don't have cheesecloth, you can use, you know, a towel. Uh, paper towels will work for this. But you wanna just make sure you're getting it covered so nothing can get in here. That's the key at this point. So there we go. We got our rubber band. We snugged that down. There's nothing getting in here, but we still want it to get air. I tell you, isn't it a beautiful tapache? I love pineapple tapache. You're going to love it. It's going to be a cross between like a beer and maybe a pineapple soda is how I would describe this. But let me tell you, it smells fantastic. Now, all I got to do is get this in a dark place, put it in a closet, somewhere where it's going to be warm. You want to ferment this at 72 to about 82 degrees is perfect. That's why it's great to make in the summertime. Let's get it in that dark closet. And it's going to take about 24 hours and hopefully we're going to see some foam in here. Fast forward. All right, it's been 24 to 36 hours and this tapache is ready. Do you see the foam at that top? That's how you know it's ready. Now, if for some reason your tapache doesn't get started and doesn't start to foam or ferment, don't be afraid to use a yeast. A yeast, I know all my winemakers are going to have this stuff around. All you need is one pinch of this. This thing will last many, many batches. All right, it's time to open this up because we got foam. That's how you know it's ready. I'll get a close-up of this top, but... We want to taste it. We're hoping that it smells. Oh my God, you should smell that pineapple. All right, let's taste this because we don't want this to get too strong. We want a fizziness here when we taste it. That's how you know it's done. So that's what we're going for. If you keep going, it's going to turn into pineapple vinegar. That smells crazy. That's perfect. It's ready to get bottled. And how you know it's perfect? It's got a little bit of fizz to it. It's nice and sweet. And you taste that pineapple flavor. Let's just get this bottled. And now we're going to get in 
to the secret. Now, you remember those weights we put in here? We wanna get those out before we strain this because remember, this was weighting down that pineapple. So there we go, that's two of them. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour it in this pitcher because it's gonna be a little bit easier for me to get it into bottles that way. Hold everything back and get it drained. Just like that. Tapache, homemade tapache. <laughs> I love this stuff. All right, do not discard this because this involves the secret. I got my two containers. I got Amazon links for all this in a funnel. It's got a little bit of a strainer in it and we wanna catch some of the pulp in case we got any in there. So let's just fill these vessels up. Oh man, it looks incredible. It smells incredible. I think we're just gonna need, whoa! And that was a mess. Now let's get the other one and take it slow. Not like I was, cause I'm so excited. You don't have to fill these up like a wine bottle. You can leave some headspace in here because we wanna stop fermentation at this point. What we're gonna do is put it in the refrigerator. So I'll just add a little more, there we go. Oh yeah, that's perfect. A little, there might be a drop yet. There we go. We got two one liters, and I don't know what this, this size here is, but that is now going to the refrigerator because we want to stop fermentation at this point. I'll put these swing tops on, we'll get this cooled down, and then we'll be right back. Look at this tapache fermented pineapple on this channel. This is the secret, and this is why you make homemade tapache. This stuff is expensive. It's like $4 for like a 12 ounce can. It's crazy prices, but you can make it. I made this whole batch for about four bucks, and now what we can do is you reuse these pineapples. This is good for two to three more batches. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna add more cinnamon, more sugar, but I wanna put a little twist on this batch. I'm gonna show you. For this batch, I'm gonna put an apple and a pear in it just to add some uniqueness. So we'll just cut our apple here and you don't want any of the seeds. So you're gonna see, I'll just cut this up and go around all the seed area like this. And do you see how juicy this pear is? It's gonna make an amazing tapache. That's delicious, I'll eat that later. Now let's just put all this together. I got my one cup of sugar or less, whatever you prefer, I'm gonna put that in. And remember we added one cup of water to get that little bit stirred in, that brown sugar, so that's what we'll do. And this is gonna be a little harder to stir in with that pineapple, but we will just do the best we can, we'll stir it as we go putting all this in there. So there we go. I did take two pineapple chunks out of here because I'm gonna add my pears and my apple. And then we'll top this off with water. And don't forget an additional cinnamon stick because Tapache has it in. This Tapache will have about an alcohol percent of about two to 4%. So it's not as strong as a beer and not as strong as a wine for sure. There we go. We just made another batch with the same pineapple. And don't forget your weights. You wanna keep the, the fruit submerged as much as possible. That looks pretty good. Let's just get it covered up and get it in my dark place. Isn't that just a beautiful color? It's like a, a pineapple color. I got my cup of ice here. Let's pour this over ice. This is the best summertime drink you can get. The Mexicans weren't wrong with this stuff. It's fantastic. But here we go, homemade tapache. Let's taste this. It smells like a pineapple. I tell you, that is just fantastic. The best way I can describe it is a cross between a pineapple soda. You get that fizz in there. You just got a hint of the cinnamon. I tell you, I don't know. I'm gonna pour some more here. I can't wait for my wife to try this tonight. Because my shirt's black and I'm in this black opening and you have a- Were you gonna pour it then? I guess. I just, 
my black sweater against that black opening didn't look good. All right, you ready to taste Apache? I'm ready. Open it up. It smells good. Kind of, if we let it go, it would turn into our pineapple wine. Make sure you put a cinnamon stick in. That just takes it over the top. Tastes like pineapple soda. That's yeah. what it tastes like. Yeah. Make sure you're trying this homemade tapache because let me tell you, there's nothing better than this. If you like pineapple soda, you're going to love this stuff. And, and I want to hear from my Mexican subscribers because I know there's a lot of you out there. What do you think of how I did this? Did I do it according to the the authentic tapache recipes out there. I also want to know what twist you put on it. I know a lot of people, they'll put like chili peppers in this to give it a little bit of spice. We talked about the cloves and the cinnamon stick. That just is authentic right there. And go figure, it's made with pineapple skins. La cucaracha, la cucaracha, ya no puede caminar porque no tiene, porque le falta marihuana que fumar la cucaracha, la cucaracha